Yes, sir. What's your weekends? What's my weekends? Mm-hmm. What's your weekend like? What you doing this weekend? This weekend? Um, my sister has a birthday thing going on. Mm. And then I'm shooting my first like YouTube like series, I guess. Mm. Um, I don't know. Is it considered a YouTube series? Is it content? I don't... What's the, what's the I'm series? basically a content creator, I guess. Yes, you've been a content creator, gang. I feel like I feel kind of weird saying that, but it's I'm not. Doing something, I'm just basically I'm doing something on YouTube. Man, content creator is is like everybody. It's like a, every no matter our mothers are content creators uploading to Facebook. Technically. Yeah, all right, cool. So, cool. If you look so at I'm gonna like, be just uploading content on YouTube. Yeah, so I think I would shoot my first episode, first couple episodes. I think I shoot on Sunday. Mm. So and what yeah. uh, what type of things you gonna be doing? You gonna be just open? talking about mental health. Um, talking about uh, um, mental health. Uh, we on air right now? Yeah, we on air. Oh shit! Um, but it's so, cool. Just, I just all right, cool, cool. cool. So we talking about mental health. I'm gonna be talking about like just business development and like building a foundation within yourself. Because I feel like a lot of people jump into business as with the idea of just making money mm. rather than having a foundation. Because it's like you can any you can make money at any time in your life, but if mm. you don't have a foundation within yourself, you can easily crash out. Exactly. You know, you could easily, you know, go through your ups and downs and kind of just get depressed, get anxiety, get, go through so many mental things because, mm-hmm. oh, my my business isn't working this week. Or, oh, because things aren't happening at the, the, the rate that I wanted to happen, exactly. you know, but if you don't have a foundation within yourself. So I want to help people with like things as, such as like their strengths, their weaknesses, their opportunities, mm-hmm. you know, saying their mission, you know, how to figure out your purpose, how to figure out a goal and how to break it down in depth, stuff of that, of that sort. Okay, I know. I know you probably talk to a lot of people, and I, I would guess you ask them. You know a lot about people's strengths and weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if you had to say, what's what's the lot? What's the what's the answer you always usually get when you ask people what's their weaknesses? Like what they yeah, we did, a lot of people say a lot of people hit me with the uh, I don't have any weaknesses. Some people hit me with the I don't know my weaknesses, or some people just might just say like just two just super super broad things, mm. and it just doesn't really like. Get in depth enough for themselves to help them improve because it's like one thing I always say you got to just be accountable, right? Mm-hmm. And with accountability, you have to really address yourself from top to bottom completely, like without anybody judgment, without anybody looking at you, you have to be able to address yourself. And if you can't address those things within yourself, mm-hmm. you're gonna have a hard time moving forward because you're gonna keep running into the same hurdles in life, mm-hmm. you know, over and over and over again. So, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, yeah, that's I mean, that's that's that is that's a lot to take in, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. But um, welcome back, welcome back. Another week. I mean, we haven't dropped the episode in a few weeks, but this is another week. This is the week. This is another episode. We have another banger today. I'm sitting with somebody that I'm excited to that, that to talk to. I'm somebody I'm, I'm I'm excited to talk to. Somebody I'm inspired by. Somebody that inspires hundreds, millions of young minds. Um, we are talking to Ron the Don. <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a head clap in the back. You hear that? Yeah, you did. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you having me, man. I love your show, bro. I love your energy. I love your positivity. Um, I love the foundation you created, man. So I'm excited to be on this show and go crazy with you. Hear me? It's gonna be perfect. I feel like it's already perfect. No, I'm um, ready for sure. What's going on with you? What's up with you today? It is Wednesday, five thirty. What's up, man? Five thirty. Today's what Wednesday, so. Did a lot of running around. Um, today's my sister's birthday. Shout out to my sister, Kanasia. Um, today's her birthday. She's Happy like birthday. A, she's like a second mother to me, so today's like a special day for me um, mm-hmm. and my family. So I got to spend a little bit of time with her when I'm done this um, and a few other meetings. I want to make sure I you know, go back to her, hang out with her for real. But for the most part, today been easy going. The business been flowing for real. For the most mm-hmm. part, I checked in with my team and whatnot, so... There's no complaints. I'm just ready just to, you know, get the ball rolling with you, man. Let's get oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, a lot of people probably already know who you are. Um, but for the people that don't know, that don't, that already know about the Keep Hope Alive and the stuff you do for the kids, what, if you had to give two to three sentences um, about saying who you were to a stranger watching this, mm-hmm. what would you say? Um, my name is Karan Oster, also known as Ron Adon, or known as the man with the plan. Um, I'm big on helping people maximize their potential in life from emotionally, financially, spiritually, financially, um, just helping people find their purpose. So it could be youth, adults. I help with, you know, therapy, counseling, business development, and just overall just finding a foundation within your life. Mm. Damn. 
I mean, I think that was about four to five sentences. Yeah, I go crazy sometimes. So. But you can break the rules just because yeah. you just because you're a brother, and we yeah. we got that connection because we're black. Most definitely, bro. But anybody else can't fly. That's the only person I let it fly. Usually, I make them redo the whole shit. Yeah, they tell them they gotta go, man. You did. Um, one thing I was excited to talk to you about, um, like you said, you said you help people with financial, mental, maximizing. That's why I brought you onto the show because, as you've been seeing, I've been wearing the same white tee every episode. And you supposed to, man. You grinding. And yeah. we need to talk about some financial and how to get some more white tees. Yeah, let's do it. Um, God, but honestly, before we get to there, I have personal questions that I have about more so to keep hope alive. I want to keep. I want to talk about that. Um, how many schools have you been to? This just if you had a good ballpark. Um, how many schools? Yep. I meet with majority of the schools in Baltimore City, man. Um, so I go to schools different with different purposes, right? Mm-hmm. I have excuse me, um, my game plan workbook that I got out. Mm-hmm. Well, I go to a lot of schools. I do like work sessions for, but then I also have keeping hopes live. I um, will be offered therapy and counseling, right? Okay. So. It's two different ways that I go inside those, inside the schools, the like systems, and I pretty much so it, if I can put a number to a it. A number. How many schools have you touched down and started? Probably like probably about forty. Forty. Yeah, about forty Damn. schools. You know what I'm saying? You understand? That's Maryland. nice. So um, I help with different workshops with schools. Mm-hmm. You know, with like I might do an hour work session helping people figure out their purpose, figure out their strengths, figure out their weaknesses, figure out what they're trying to do when they get to the next. Like if, for example, if it's middle schools. What are they going to do in high school? If it's high school, okay. just what are they going to do in college? If it's college, what are they going to do in the real world? Things mm-hmm. of that sort. But then I also do like meditation sessions through Keeping Hopes Live. Mm-hmm. I might do yoga class. I might do breakout rooms to help people figure out their mental health. So, oh, I seen that they they you throwing eggs in the cat in the you throwing eggs in the gymnasium. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying. Things of that sort. So it's like I do a lot of stuff, you know, because I want everybody just to be able to like understand their life, man. Like I have a purpose, you know. Mm-hmm. I have an ability to do something great, and I don't want people to just feel like. It's only a small specter of things that they can accomplish or do in this world. Okay. You feel I me? Mean? Yeah. Because a lot of people have different abilities. A lot of people have different upbringings. A lot of people have different things that they witness. So it's like, why limit yourself to whatever you see on social media? Why only mm. limit to yourself to whatever you hear in your neighborhood? Because mm-hmm. if it's up to that, all you want to do is be outside, be an athlete, you know. Be you know, a 20 like, boy. You know, you know, whatever the case may be. But it's like, I want you to look deeper within yourself so you can understand like, yo, it's more than this world that I can accomplish. Mm-hmm. It's more in this world that I can, you know, see for them myself and see for others. Because mm-hmm. not everything that we like we set out to do is only for us. Okay. It could be for your family members. It could be for your kids. It could be for your friends. It could be for your community. It could be for the world. Mm-hmm. But it's like you know, we all have different purposes to you know to live uh, uh, live upon. Okay. Okay, I understand. I understand that. I understand. So um, you've been to forty schools. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of kids to talk to in effect. Mm-hmm. Um, what is what is um what is some of the some of the main more so problems that you see that you feel like I don't, I don't want to make it seem so bad like what do you what do you feel like you see in the current you know what no, I mean it's bad it's bad it is what it is you got to call it speed to speed it is bad because like so social media and what covid did to us mm. you know diminish a lot of our like like levels of like greatness you feel me i feel like we just stuck at whatever we see on social media, whatever we see on YouTube, whatever we see on TV, and that's just that's that. That's the okay. like base level. Yeah. So it, it's not we gotta got we gotta call it bad, right? It is. But some of the things I've seen is that we don't really have too much creativity. We aren't having that much of a foundation. We don't have we haven't aren't having a sense of love. We're not getting a sense of support within our family. Wow. Within ourselves. Mm. We don't really know who we are. You ask the average person, what is your purpose? Huh? What you mean? Who are you? You say, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what, you know, I don't know. Mm. But if you ask them who dropped the album last night, or who dropped the best diss track, or you ask them who's your favorite rapper, they're going to answer immediately. Mm-hmm. But if you ask them something about within themselves, hey, what, what, what do you eat today that, that bothered your stomach? Or what, um, what caused you to get angry? Mm. Or what, you know, what sets you back in life? Or what motivates you? A lot of Questions people like that. I can't even answer. answer all them questions. You know what I'm saying? So that's the the, the, the disconnect right there, mm-hmm. right? That we don't even know who we are. We don't even know what we're destined to do. Mm-hmm. We don't know our purpose. Okay. We don't even know our foundation, who we love, or who, who who loves us, and what they love us for. So I feel like that's a big um, disconnect that we have today. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Um, shit. Um, 
Oh man, and what are some of the what are some? I'm sorry, that was a lot to take in. Like, That's damn, cool. like cool, you ba- cool, it's man. like you saying like all these. It's like you basically it's a lot. Of, and I would I, I don't even disagree. It is a lot of this, and especially in our community and our race, it is a lot of dysfunctional family, a lot of childhood trauma and stuff like that. And I could and and that, and and I guess none of us none of us really can see how that affects our you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? For sure. And that's why I wanted to, to talk to you about it, because if anybody know what the kid's into, is you. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, do, what, what, do, what, do you, what do these kids' impression? I know a lot of them, well, like, what, are there some of them, do they always accept you with open arms? No, never, never. You got to think, I'm coming in as a rare face, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not sh- coming in like, as nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't know me from a can of paint, so why would they accept me? But one thing I do, I, I, I'm big on just being relatable and I'm big on just like helping like broadcast themselves. I don't come in and say, oh, I'm Ron, I'm this, this is what I got going on, this is what I got. <laughs> I don't come in like that, you know. Uh-huh. I come in here to help your life and mm-hmm. I just speak to them. You know, it's like, for example, I might just come in and just say, show of hands, who only has one parent in their household? Mm. Show of hands, whoever went a night without eating? Show of hands, whoever had to sleep somewhere outside of their personal home? You mm. know? Show hands. Who had to come outside before with dirty clothes? And what the what, who hands? Because is it like is it only two hands or Man, like everybody well, has going to raise their hand? You know what I'm saying? Because then then once we start to understand the similarities within ourselves, we start to get a comfortability. We start to get an understanding. Of, oh snap! Oh, I ain't know that girl really, pr- really pretty over there. I ain't know she go through that. Oh, that guy look up to him, but I ain't know he go through that. Oh, this guy that's speaking, I ain't know he went through that. So it might be you know because now we form a a, a sense of connection, mm. right? When we build that connection, we start seeing that oh. We are, are like pretty similar. We all have some of the same situations. Now it's more like you see relaxed shoulders. You mm. might see the, the, the little pool shaky ski mask come off. <sighs> you might see like somebody might sit up, mm. you know, moving forward, things of that sort. So it's not always like a come in the gate and oh my God, it's always wrong. You know, it's like, who's this guy? Are you, telling me, are you telling me the kids be in the school with the shiesty in middle school? Hell yeah, nigga. What? What are you talking about? Hey, yo. Like, shiesty's on. Like, shiesty's I, on. I'm in, in classes, bro, and shiesty's is on. Like, it's Bruh. one thing when you got it on your head. I, I see him over their face, bro. Bro, I would have took my belt off. Bro, like, I'd be, I be like, I'm like, I be feeling like, I'd be feeling like a parent. I'd be like, yo, like, take that off. Like, you, like, you geeking. What do you, you know? feel like that does? To, what do you feel like that does? Like that that whole that whole push icy mask. I feel like, era, I, feel what do you feel like put, I feel like it puts a, like a, a particular ego within yourself on you now, right? Whereas like now, you're like you particularly in this element, you in this mode. You know what I'm saying? Whatever mode that is, demon mode. Whatever, like everybody got a different element, right? But I mm-hmm. feel like that's a mode that they get in, right? And when you get in that mode, it's like you on whatever whatever that mode is, you on that, mm-hmm. right? So it was like, I ain't trying to hear nothing he's saying. I don't want to, I don't care what you feel me, like what's going on. I don't want to, whatever that is, that's what you want. So you might see somebody laid back rolling their eyes. You might see somebody talking to their friend. You might see somebody, you know, wearing off. But I'm big on not giving up on nobody. And I'm, get, I'm big on like meeting people where they at, right? Mm. A lot of people, they don't know that they might be hurting. They don't know they might be dealing with trauma. They might not know they're dealing with PTSD. So you can't judge nobody on that, right? Because like I see in life, right? I don't see good or bad in nobody. Mm. I see simply cause and effect, mm. right? Okay, I understand. I'm not mad at you that you aggressive. Mm. I'm not mad at you that I see you out cussing in the hallway. You see, I'm not seeing. I'm not mad at you because you you punch someone in the face. Okay, you don't know that that young girl might have got touched this morning. Mm. She got an uncle that's in the household with her. She got touched. So the first person that disrespect that she just punched in their face. Yeah, you don't know that little person right there got. 12 siblings in the household and they got to share food and they hungry as hell. You don't know, you feel me, that like that person got, you know, a parent that really don't really care about them and they really don't really support them they don't really acknowledge them because they just out going to clubs on that or they partying on that and they don't really take time to really kick with them. So, so this, why so, can I be mad at you? So this this is my personal question. Talk like, to me. This is my personal question. Honestly, like, I feel like like it's like you, we always you always talking about like with helping other people maximizing other people's time and stuff. But like, what 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 brought you to this? Like what what? Because me personally, like I I don't I feel like I don't I don't want to think about that shit. Like mm-hmm. our fucked up generation that's coming after us. Mm-hmm. I don't want to think about that. So how do you feel like you on the front line? You know what I mean? What what does it like? Um, I always kind of had like a voice growing up for real. Just being in like my age group and my my friend group and like my surroundings, I always kind of had a voice. Mm. Um, just being the type of person that was always I was always popular growing up. Okay. Always had like, you know, a bunch of girls in life type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I already like was already I always was like a somebody. 
But as I got older, I went to college. I did different things in life, and I I got a, I got around people that was outside of our city, and I realized how fucked up we was. Like certain shit that was just so normal to me, they like, bro, like why are you like. Why do you think like that? Why do you mm. talk like that? Why do you act like that? I seen this. And thing. I'm like, bro, what the fuck you talking about? This is how it is. This is how you supposed to be. This is like, I was wrong because it was like, that's just how we are in our area. That's how we are in our dynamic. That's how we I got was nephews, taught. I got nieces. You get what I'm saying? And I got a lot of people in the community that like always been around, like mm-hmm. young people that always just that followed me, that fucked with me, stuff like that. So it was like a thing where I be like, I don't want to just let. If I, I just not a person that can just let people just fail in front of me. Mm-hmm. If I see somebody with potential, I see somebody that got greatness in them, I got to, you know me, show them love. I got to be able to just, hey, I see what you're doing, but look, you could do it this way, you know? So it didn't start off like, hey, I'm trying to be the fucking mayor of the city or I'm trying to change the world. Mm-hmm. I just changed, help one person, help the next person, help the next person. And I watched certain things work. Mm-hmm. And I watched things I did wrong, you feel mm-hmm. me? But at the end of the day, like, I just seen one person that might have needed help and support because I know I need the support. Mm. I had I had two parents growing up, you feel me? Yeah. And I still had a lot of fucked up shit around me. I, exactly. had, I still had, you get what I'm saying, things that I was going wrong at. You mm. feel me? But it's like everybody in a village, bro. Everybody, you can have two parents, you can have teachers, you can have coaches, you still might need more support. Mm-hmm. And I just be big on like, yo, like I see somebody, I just want to be able to be like that voice or that vessel to be like, hey, look, like you're not alone in this shit, bro. Cause I know a lot of us go do mental. Battles. I know we go through financial battles. I know we go through emotional hiccups. You feel me? Shit. So it's like, why let somebody just deal with that shit alone? Like, I can read through anybody. I can see like the greatness of somebody, but I can also see like the hiccups they go through, and I'd be like, shit, like, what's up? What's wrong with you? What's up? You you alright to talk to me? They had to be shy. I'm like, nah, they like, talk to me. Mm. Then they, man, look, that's what I'm going through. Shit, nigga, I'm going through the same shit. Then I was like, you know what I mean? Damn, A lot man. of us don't really have that. You feel me? Yo. Like this, even LeBron James need a coach in the game, right? Uh-huh. So why I think we so big that we can't have like a partner or a coach or a team player that can help us in life? Yeah, we not alone in this world, bro. LeBron got you the know? whole team. It's twelve other niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, like I played sports growing up. I remember like running laps and practice. And if I'm tired, a nigga be like, "Yo, like come on, keep running with me, keep running with me, shit like that," right? Mm. Then it be like, "Damn, when you get in the real world, shit, you kind of don't really got nobody that can like tell you to come on. Let's shit. just keep going. Let's do one more. You don't have nobody like that. When you go working out and practice and teams and shit, it's like, yo, like yo, we gonna do ten push ups." Like, we're going to do 10 pushes 20 times. But you get in the real world, you don't got nobody pushing you and motivating mm-hmm. with you. When you, you, when, you in that shit alone. When, them, when bills you get to, you, them bills hit your name. When you get to a certain point type, when you get to a certain point type shit, like, just like how back then when you said you played sports, you had somebody to push you, you had that support. It became, like, generation, like, just how TikTok and just how you said social media, mm-hmm. it taught you how, like, yo, that shit corny. Don't do that. Like, that, like helping somebody, like, like they made that shit corny nowadays. Yeah, you know a lot what of mean? shit, like, like, a lot of things like be made as like it's corny, it's not cool, but it's like, what is cool? What, what is, is the cool? definition of cool? Because these it's, TikTok dances is corny. The new shit that I see everybody doing, they corny. Yeah, and but just just like how we look at that as corny, right? Because I think it's corny too, right? Mm-hmm. But well, we had Soldier Boy dance when we was young. We but had fucking that's hard. The motherfucking uh, what, what we had the Avenue <laughs> shit like that. So it's like I had that bitch right we now. We got parents of ours that the shit, that shit corny. So no matter what, it's always going to be something corny, right? Mm. There's always a different generation to that shit. You feel mm. me? There's no rules to what's cool, what's not. It's just whatever your generation like is whatever y'all like. But it's like, who is we to judge? Mm. Who is we to take away their, them kids' fun? Okay, Because I, I got mad when them old heads used to make the things that we look at as fun as not mm. fun. Y'all just want to go to park. Y'all just want to go to skateboard. Y'all want to go to the dock. <laughs> shit, that shit cool. It's girls no, there. I the hoes is go definitely there. there right now. Y'all just worry about that. But shit, y'all old heads was worried about, you feel me? So it's like, how are we to, and I'm big on like, I don't judge nobody for who they is, bro. I look at every situation, you know what I'm saying? I just like, I look at it like, like, like from a blank canvas. Okay, I understand. I don't care what you do. I don't care what drug you take. Mm-hmm. I don't care what sports you play. I don't care the way you dress. I look at everybody for who they is as a person, bro. Because it's like, who are we to tell somebody else they corny or they a clown or they dirty or Hell they yeah. bad, bro? We know, we're nobody. We're That's, nobody. I'm a clown to somebody. We are. Yo, yo, help the youth. Yo, he a clown. I'm dirty yeah. to somebody. I got a wrinkly white tee on. You feel what I'm saying? But not knowing that you a great ass person. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody could come in. Oh, yeah. oh, yo got a, yo got a wrinkly tee. Yo, I ain't trying to talk to you. <laughs> not knowing that this is the nigga that you really need to talk to. This is the nigga that's somebody serious. Damn. That so it's like, thank you. Thank you. Like we all got a purpose, right? And I feel like in life, we don't want to fulfill 
the things within ourselves because we feel like what it ain't going to look like to anybody else. Who give a fuck what you look like? Who give exactly. a fuck how you feel, bro? Mm-hmm. If that makes sense for you in your life, bro, do that shit. Simple as that. That's how I be, Hit the bro. clap. Hit the clap shit again. Hit the clap. Hit the clap. Crazy. Um, I'm sorry. I feel like we. I feel like it's too early. We in too deep. Man, we going crazy. We in too deep. We need to. We need to. We, let's t- let's hit the breeze. Let's let's glide. Let's glide out for a little. Right, bit. I'm, I'm gonna kick back. All right. So, what 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 do you like doing on your off time? I don't know, man. What do I like doing? Um, you a gambler? You like you like go to the strip club? The kids not listening to this part. Nah, I mean, they cut this part. I mean, this I mean, this part I mean, is eighteen and over. I'm I mean, not I, you, but you. you, you know. I mean, I go to strip club and there shit like that. But I don't really got like a. I got. I don't know my fun side, bro. Like my fun side really be like shit like this, bro. Mm. Like this is like my free time. Like, mm. like I kick with the fam, shit like that. But I'm like a boring guy. I came to realization with because it's like whatever I'm focused on for that time period is like what I'm focused on. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like I just dedicate whatever I meant. So it's like mm-hmm. I hate that question, bro. Cause you hate it it sounds bad because it's like, like. <sighs> Okay, I'll make the question a little bit easier. It's for hard me. for me, bro. I'll make the question I'm a little a bit easier. Guy. I'll make it a little bit easier. And like you can be it's not this it's not a wrong wrong or right answer to this. So it's Friday night. You got everything off the checklist checked. Mm-hmm. What and do you do? What you gonna do? Like it's like you gonna cut like uh, honestly, if I can answer for myself to give you a, a I I'll be on that. I'll be me and Shorty, we cut on the office. Boom. Yeah, like, a couple shots. Yeah, it's like it depends like I try to take my girl out to eat or something somewhere nice, get a good steak or something. Mm-hmm. She like that. Um, I probably kick up my homeboys. We probably watch a game or something. Um, uh, what sport well, did you play? I grew, I played basketball growing up. Okay, okay. Or like I probably like you know like do some work shit like you know like you feel I, better when you at work. Yeah, like that's like my peace, bro. Like, mm-hmm. That's like my therapeutic side. I feel like growing up like. With, with hiccups that happen in life, like things that I work on be like my therapy. Like, you know, some people might draw, some people might rap, some mm. people might, you know, shout. Take long walks some on the beach. Might, you know what I mean? Like my thing is like, how can I get myself better? I either I invest in something or I... Like, but you, but do, you, do you feel like, but do you feel like that's, because mentally, I, like, like, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too many books and type shit, but... Like mentally, you need to hit the brakes type shit. You need to go down a hill, feel the wind type shit. Yeah, like yeah, like it'd be cool. Like 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 me and my girl recently just went like we went to like a spa day for real. For like it was like we went like for, like ten hours. Well, what type of spa day? You just get your nails done, or nah, did you get the, like, the, the nah, like no, like we eyes? went like to what's it called like Belaine. Like springs, oh like, okay, okay. Like, we go into like the pool. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Wars, I'm picking like, up. I'm picking like up like that for real. Like that'd be cool. How much did that run you? I need to know. Um, like for two people, that might be like five, six hundred, probably. Okay. I mean, you get the, if you get the extra massage, extra yoga. You might extra yoga? Like, Is yoga there? You get yoga, you go to the pool, Shit. you go to the bar, you go do the hot hot sauna, the, the hot tub, cold plunge. You do all that for real. Cold plunge? I don't know. I'm a pussy when it comes to cold water. I don't yeah, do like, no, nah, no. Nah, but you need that to like, to like release some of the t- uh, tensions in your body. You get what I mean? Shorty so, was just telling me I, I need yeah, to Yeah, so it's like, you might do that. Like, yeah, like it's cool. Like, you might you might run like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, like you know what mm. I mean. But for a whole day of just peace, you can take your laptop in there. You can take your food in there. You can you can eat your, whatever you want. That's you perfect. I mean? That's like, not bad. That's not even a bad price. I was expecting you to say like two bands or something. No, no, no. You 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 can have a good time for three hundred dollars. Like type shit. If you bring your own food, bring your own whatever. Like you can have a good time for three hundred dollars. You know what I mean? You want to actually you go seven hundred dollars. But it's cool though. It's like a okay. great day. So that stuff is cool. I mean, my therapist would tell me like, "Yo, bro, you should do this, you should do that." But oh, you got a therapist? Oh yeah, oh yeah, bro, oh yeah. Real nigga, man. Hell Real yeah, nigga, man. man. You got get a therapist. Like, bro, if you watching this? Go get a therapist right man, now. All my friends is locked up, bro. I think people I've been lost in life that's dead and hiccups that happen and shit like that, bro. Like this positivity don't just come from nothing. You got to find yourself within the chaos. You feel me? And it's like with hiccups in life, we all go through trauma. We all go through some fucked up shit. We mm-hmm. all got wicked ass lives. You feel me? That we all witness, like especially coming from where we come yeah, from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You could be an average Joe and just witness three niggas get killed just on some regular shit. Like oh shit, you could you be a regular nigga and three of your friends just get life sentences. Like just your like childhood that. friends that that's good people. You feel me? So it's like mm-hmm. like you you just go through shit. That's life shit. You feel me? So it's life shit. You know what I mean? Your your mother could get.
front of you or you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. I don't you know, know about like, I don't life know that. Shit, life should get real. So yeah, bro. Remind so, me to cut the rape word out, all right? Uh, yeah, cut it out, cut it out. Whatever to get in here, just blank it. It's cool, it don't matter. I mean, I what's, what's the one word I let fly here? I don't know. I think I said why don't I got Oh shit, I gotta blank that out too. Let's talk, let's move on to the next subject. Get busy. Let's move yeah. to the next subject. Talk to me. So I I brought you here to teach me how to get put some more money in my, in my pocket financially, maximize my financial. Oh shit, man, I gotta sit up, man. Yes. We I back, we thinking. back, we, we back in too deep now. We back in that right, shit. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's get busy. Talk What's, to me. I'm a, you, uh, you see, you see what I you see my do you see what I do, you see my aspirations, this podcast mm-hmm. shit. What would you what would you do to maximize financially? Um, so if I got a podcast, what you got already. I would do a lot of like sponsorships uh, opportunities, right? Because the big thing is everybody wants to get seen, mm. right? So I would charge, you know, media people to come in to get, get their behind the scenes coverage. Mm-hmm. Um, I would, be, I would, I would do a, a charge for. I say, hey, you could, you know, bring in probably like five guests, but anything more than that, you might got to pay five dollars a person. Um, I was to, I would do some uh, sponsorships as far as like, like drinks or products or whatever the case may be. I would offer like I would partner with like floaters or somebody to do mm. like shout out the, to the floaters. Yeah, shout out to floaters brand. I'll do something like where like they can do like a, a midway like freestyle to be a, a part of the like halfway mm. part. That'd be I'll hard. probably do like song of the week, song of the month. You know what I'm saying? I'll charge people like twenty five dollars for something like that. Mm. Um, write this I'll down, charge, so you writing this down? Um, <laughs> I will. Uh, um, I will charge like some people like branding material, um, things of that sort. Um, just overall, like just just try to just get as front of as many faces. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Like you have a great platform, you have a great voice, you have great energy. I would thrive off that, bro. Mm. Like I'm big on like figure out what your strengths are, right? Figure mm. out what you're good at. Figure out what your brand is good at. Figure out what you bring value to do. Mm. And once you understand what you bring value to do, you figure out the people that needs that type of value in their lives. I understand. Rappers need you. Fashion models need you. Um, fashion clothing, designers. Cl- fashion designers need you. Clothing brands need you. Uh, fucking barbers need you. Mm. You know, uh, more media people need you. You know, it's, it's a plethora of people that just need what you do. Mm. So it's just like, my thing is I'll write out a list of everything I'm good at, everything I'm bad at, everything I currently have, everything that I'm currently lacking, and then try to get to a, a, a base of figuring out, okay, now, what's next that can help, help start helping elevate people? Because at the end of the day with media, you're driving a message. You're, yeah. just, you're just a wavelength. They're just travel from the voice to the people. Mm-hmm. But if the people are like the outlet, how can we get more to the people at a faster pace, at a broader pace? Shit. Hold up. Right? Let me get... I should have... Damn, I need to write this down. Well, we we going to run it back. I'm going to run it back. I'm going to run it back. It's yeah. real good. But my thing is, bro, is like, look, just t- just build a foundation because it's like, all right, boom. My thing is like, simple as, simple as this. Did you brush your teeth today? Mm-hmm. Did you wash your face today? Yes, sir. Um, did you put socks on today? Yes, sir. Cool. Did you um put a watch on today? Yes, sir. Did you put deodorant on today? Yep. But mm. that just completes like boom. That's how I come out the house, right? Mm. Simple. Same as with your business, though. Did I did I did I did I um did I cover Baltimore? Did I cover mm. DC? Did mm. I cover Virginia? Did I cover New York? Okay. Did I cover this? Did I cover the fashion industry? Did I cover entertainment industry? Did I cover the athletic industry? How can I cover all those things within one guess? Two guests oh, within three guests. Shit. It's the same situation. Damn. You get what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit wrong the whole time. It's like I just try to like I don't want you to think too deep into this. I feel like oh, I it's need simple. a marketing strategy. Oh, I need to pay somebody a bunch of money. No. What do you do to be successful than yourself? Mm. What makes you you? Put your glasses on. Comb out your hair. Put your shirt on. You put your shorts on. Mm. You, put, you put your shoes on. Whatever the case may be. Yeah. Same way as with your business. You got your equipment. You got your foundation. Okay. But now how do we keep going now? You got to get your car. You got to get your car insurance. Mm. You got to get your um tags. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your title for your car. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to put get your in the car. You got to get your, you know, it's all those other things outside of now getting dressed. Mm. But it's the same as within your business. Okay. How can I reach five rappers this month? Okay. How can I reach five singers this month? How can I reach five tattooed artists this month? All right. So I reach out to five people and I do two, if I actually secure two of each category and I got two times 10 and you got 20 people, now you got 20 new people. Those 20 new people need to go help me get to 200, 2,000 new people. God damn. I hope y'all was writing this down too. I hope y'all got this on slow motion. So it's like, that's what I do Like well, within my game plan book. It's like how I look at life in, in a year, right? It's 12 months in a year. Okay. 
I look at four quarters of the year. Yes. I play sports. Mm-hmm. You can lose first and second quarter and still win the game. You can lose ass. three quarters and, and win the game, right? Dead ass. Right? Yo, you need about two, three minutes. Right? So my thing is, the first three, the, the first, the first, it's four quarters. The first month is January, January, February, and March. Mm-hmm. The second quarter is April, May, June, and mm-hmm. so on. So, yeah. So it's like, all right, if I got a goal from, from January to, to December, right, to accomplish. Okay. What are the things in, in, in quarter one? What are the things in quarter two? What are the things in quarter three that I can accomplish? Wow. Right? So it's like, I don't try to, oh, I got, I got, like, because I hate people, bro. It's like, oh, I got to just lose weight this year. Mm. I got to, I got to eat better this year. Oh, I got to just save more money this year. That don't make no fucking sense. That's just a statement. How you going to just wake up and say, I just want to save more money this That's year? That's a statement. If you ain't save money last year, you ain't going to save money this year, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> So what's that? If you ain't do right last year, you ain't. He gonna just do called right me a dumbass because I said I was gonna save money. <laughs> and, and, and what, what month are we in? May. We about to be in June, right? Uh huh. So it's like, and what did you do for different from May to last year? Mm, you said May from last year. Like May this year, right now, today. What okay. did you do from today to, from last year? What did you do different in that time period? I interviewed more people. Good job. But you just say you want to save more money, right? Yes. So did you save more, more money? No. Still at the Because you just the, said it. But now what I'm big on is getting in debt with that, right? Mm-hmm. Boom. All right. So I want to save more money this year. How much do I make? Uh-oh. A Write year? this down. How much do I make a year? Okay. How much do I make per month from that? How much do I make every two weeks from that? How much do I make every week from that? How much do I make every day from that? Cool. Figure that out. How much you spend? Right. How much do I spend a day? Mm. How much do I spend a week? What are my monthly expenses? What are my bi- like bi- monthly expenses, right? Mm-hmm. Boom. Take that in. Now. now that you got that written out, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice eating out? Are you going to sacrifice taking out on dates? Mm. Are you going to sacrifice that, that luxury car you got? Are you going to sacrifice some of the little items you got? Whatever the case may be, what are you willing to sacrifice for that time period to, to achieve those goals? You probably, feel me? Probably dates. Right? And that's for something you got to be okay with. I'm okay with saying, yo, look, we ain't going out for two months, and that's what it is. Mm. Hey, yo, say no more. Like, I ain't buying no clothes right now. I'm not doing no favors right now. I'm not, I'm not eating out. I'm not buying no new subscriptions. I'm not adding no new... Like, I'm okay with saying all that shit dead. Because I don't know I got to go to it. I know by daily what I gotta hit you, what monthly I gotta hit you, mm. what weekly I gotta hit you, what you year gotta, I gotta number. hit you. You got a number. You got a number because you read it down. You read down. What it's you... already broken down to mm. myself. Okay. Because my thing is, you could break down video games. You could break down your equipment. Mm. You could break down the amount of times you have sex. Niggas you could break niggas, down you, niggas the amount of the, liquor. Niggas quit to fuck somebody up in two K. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, bet. I just bought a bottle for sixty dollars. Oh shit, I got the same bottle for forty dollars. Oh damn. So if you want to figure that little shit out, why can't you figure out shit with it yourself? Mm. And that's what I be big on, bro. Shit. If I'm willing to go fuck, if I'm willing to go get some money and do this, or I'm willing to go outside and go have fun, but I'm not willing to lock in with it myself, I have a problem. Mm. And that's what I be big on, bro. Shit. And it's like, I don't tell nobody nothing different than what they need to do for themselves, because that's how I talk to myself. Mm-hmm. Ron, why you don't got that? Oh, that's because you did that this month. Oh, that's why. Oh, because you chose to do this this month. That's why. Things of that sort, you know? So I just like to, I be big on saying that everybody love yourself so much that you want to sacrifice and take a different approach within yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like we love everybody else. We love our mothers, our fathers, our parents, our, um, our cousins, our aunts, our girlfriends, our boyfriends, and everybody, whatever anyone got. But who you, or when you want to love yourself to know that, I'm going to say no to some things. Mm-hmm. I love myself to know that I want to cherish things more. Meaning I want my future to be better. Shit. My future life to be better. That's my situation to be better. And that's what I want to be big on, bro. Because I want to be big on with the youth with that, the adults with that, anybody, man. Like I want you to just love yourself enough to say, yo, fuck that. I'm okay if she leave me today. Mm. I'm okay. Like I remember having chicks, you know what I mean, in my life. And saying, and she like, man, you're not taking me out enough. I'm leaving. Have fun. That's what it got to be. Have fun. Okay. I know, I, I know I'm loaded. Okay. I ain't got nothing to lie about. Let's hit the brakes one more Talk time. To me. Let's hit the brakes one more time. It's another hill. This is another hill we're going down. We about to glide. <sighs> okay. Shit. Shorty, we ain't going out on no date. 
<laughs> Psycho fuck. Yo, shit, like, get like that. When you in that ground mode, man, get like that. I understand though. That shit, like that shit, that shit, that shit big though. That shit. They ain't playing. Every, everybody should think like that every second of the oh, day. Oh, and, and if a motherfucker don't understand, hey, get rid of them. Simple as that. That's all you have to do. If I say, yo, we eating in the house, bro. We eating in the house. We chilling. Hey, we ain't. It is what it is. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, right? You know it's going good. Okay. But we try to get somewhere with this shit. You feel me? Okay. All right. Let's go down this hill. Let's take this break. If you're watching this, pause it. Go get a cup of tea. It's like, no, I was listening to one of them white podcasts. We should, we should be doing that shit. That's why. My bad. Um, the question I have is, all right. I, we, we got some tequila for him today. That's what he's drinking on. It's gone, by the way. It's gone? You need a refill like the song? Please. Shorty, hook him up. You need, anybody got to use a bathroom? Not yet? Okay. Let me finish my t- question. I'll, let me take it. Thank you, Shorty. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, sir. Um, so, we, you know, you, like you said, you be going to, you be dibbling and dabbling in the strip clubs. You know what I mean? Let me see if I need a refill. Hit me <laughs> up. Hit me up. Let me see. Right. Hit me up too, Donnie. Yes, sir. This is the real shit. They all catching this live. Y'all catching this live. Um, let me give it back to her. Mm. So, the question is, thanks, hey, Johnny. Mm-hmm. You, you said you'd be dibbling and dabbling in the strip clubs. Mm-hmm. What is, because me personally, when I go in the strip clubs, I have a plan, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, like, I, like to, I like to get my, I like to have, I t- first, I take my ones out first. I okay. get my ones first. But I, I like to go to the bar, you know, get my drinks first. Like, hold on, let me get my, let me get my drink, you know? Then I like, you know, scope the scenery out type so shit. So scenery out. So, <laughs> so what's, what's, what's your plan? Or like, more so you don't have to tell niggas your plan. You don't, I don't want you to never tell your sauce. You know what I mean? Because your sauce is type shit. No homo. Um, what, what, what's, your, what's your go-to drink when you're in a club in that situation? Um, go-to drink. Um, Don Julio Reposado. Um, yeah, probably Don Julio Reposado probably right now. I'm the only nigga that do sugar on the rim. Oh, you crazy! You I'm do crazy. Sugar on the rim? Yeah, you a bad person, bro. Extra sugar, as much you can sugar you can put on there. Yeah, bad person. I would talk about you if I was. Like, I'm a yeah. bad person. Yeah, bad I'm so person. wrong about the sugar gangs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no men should just have sugar on their drinks. I be getting the sugar. It's cool. It's good. That's what you do. I ain't. You know what I mean? I'll just talk about you. That's all. You can talk about me. I give you permission. I don't even care. <laughs> Okay, so another question I have that while we're on this uh, break burner, um, you're in a relationship. Yeah. How long have you been in a relationship? Uh, like, like five months. Five months. Oh, you 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 just got in a relationship. Yeah, like fresh for real. Okay, just you say you just say friends for real. I said fresh for real. Like fresh oh, for real, fresh oh, for real, okay, fresh, okay, fresh, fresh for real. Okay, he corrected yeah. himself. All right, all right. Um. Talk about I want you to talk about That quote unquote New love How is it affecting you In the last five months Last five months uh, Five months How it affected me It's good um, Helped me bring a lot of peace Within myself mm-hmm. um, I'm really like All over the place As an individual mm-hmm. As you might can see Like I'm always Work, work, work mm-hmm. So it helped me Find that balance Within myself I'm being able to like Factoring other things In your day mm-hmm. You know And still getting Your stuff done Because I thought like at any moment, if I'm doing something other than business, I'm not being productive. But mm-hmm. it's like, wait, it's 24 hours in the day. You can still go on a date. You can still do this. You can still do this. You can still do like, little, like you know, like. How many hours you get to sleep a night? Not much. <laughs> you look, uh, I, just, I can just tell you just not yeah, a nigga I'm, that I'm, sleep. I'm, 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 my ADHD, bro, I'm wide the fuck out. <laughs> I, probably, I, probably, I probably woke up at like 5.30 this morning. Well, you, I'm up. And you don't, even, you don't even, you don't even got to go nowhere at no 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, I, mean, like, I, mean, yeah, I, just, I just be up. I'm just wired. Like, I just get up and just start talking. That's too gangster. I'm up. I'm like, yeah, what's going on? What's up? Good morning. How you feeling? Like, I'm on bullshit early. <laughs> 5.30 in the morning? Hell no. Yeah. We couldn't live. I'll be fighting you, dude. We couldn't live together, yeah. dude. I try, to, I try to be respectful with it, though. I try. Like, I used to be bad with that shit, though. Uh-huh. Like, I thought when I woke up, the whole world got to wake up. Yo, what's up? We up, we up. But it's like, mm. I be chilling now. What, how do you feel like, because no person is really born like that as a baby. How do you feel like you got into that? I got born, I did so much young. Like, like it's like, I already was like, lose my virginity already like thir- like 14 years old or 15 years old and shit like that. So mm-hmm. it's like, I already went to every party possible. Like, 
people that you might see now. So you burned yourself like, out. That's what I'm hearing. So, huh? You burned yourself out. Man, I ain't burned out for shit. No, I'm not talking I'm, about you burned out right now. I'm, I'm burning for about, the little shit that's going on out here. Like, I'm, th- yeah, I'm talking I'm about when you. Were, I'm talking about like you said you were like you, you were going to all the parties, you was doing everything. I'm saying like your younger self. You're saying yeah, you so I out. did that stuff. So it's like, how much more like like bitches can you get? Like mm. how much more like fun can you? It's like my fun now is just traveling. Mm. And, like you know, going to different places. What's your shit. favorite place to travel to? Um. Take a shot first, cause I took. I'm about to take one, and I um, we just refilled, and I can't. We can't be having empty cups on on different. What's that shit called? Um, when bitches had a period at the same time. I'm not even sure. I, I, huh? Bluetooth. It's called Bluetooth. It's called Bluetooth. <laughs> what? That's not the word I was <laughs> looking for. <laughs> That's disgusting. But um, I get it though. Like when they do a basketball team together, and they all be like, "Yeah." Whatever. I, didn't, but, I mean, the Bluetooth that is a name, then that's crazy. I, I, that was that might be the useful name for it. Then I was not the answer. I was looking for an S word or something, but I don't know. In sync. I guess so. In sync. They're in sync. That's not an S word. Sync. In yeah, yeah, it is S word. Okay. I answer the sync. question. Answer the question. Where's your favorite place to travel to? Um, right now I, I like going to LA a lot. Um, it's like a second home to me. So that's why I go. You said where? LA. LA? Yes, that's where I go at the most. See, I'm, a, I'm still a bottle nigga a little bit. I'm just bringing. Oh, hold up. So I need that chaser. I'm going to still for myself. Mm-hmm. I be, I'm a, I'm a bottle one nigga, so I really don't. I'm still, I'm just breaking out that shell of traveling a lot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, I haven't been to LA yet. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you, what are some of your favorite things about LA as a bottom one nigga? Because that's a different um, perspective. Sun, uh, sunlight. You get so much sunlight, man. I, when I come here, I feel so depressed, bro. Mm. Like it's always like a dull day. It's always just like noise. It's like when you come across people, people don't really smile as much. Everybody's always going through something. Mm. You're always motherfucker. Like, how you doing? I can't call it. How you, how you feeling today? Mm, it's, it's just all right. Like everybody more upbeat in LA. You know when I'm I'm there, it's always hey how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey what's going on? What are you what are you trying today? You know it's uh-huh. always that like vibrant energy. It's definitely different. Um, vibe. It's, it's like so many more restaurants. Um, I feel like the Baltimore food is really good. But it's the options You could just Just be more at peace I feel like mm-hmm. um, From my point of view um, I like I like to be able to walk On a mountain Here and there You know I like to walk On a You know Going a long walk I like to work out outside I might could just be on the beach But then I could just be At a restaurant Then I might could be Chilling in You know in the house and be, You know this is scenery is just Baltimore nice. beaches And LA beaches are. What Baltimore beach You been to Talk to me you know. My bad, my yeah, bad. You, the hard, line, the hard water the just people. became swimmable, but I'm not talking about that. You ain't know about that. Yeah, I know about that. I was making sure you said you ain't go. What's what you think about that, niggas? In the I'm white. not swimming. Nobody harbor. You know There's a lot of white people jumping in that water, gang. Listen, I ain't, that's that's half fun. <sighs> yeah, I ain't doing that. Ain't. But um, the beaches that I the, in, like in rock. Baltimore. What beaches have you been to in not Baltimore? In, it's I not in Baltimore. Baltimore. It's not in Baltimore. Yeah, exactly. It's not no beaches. That's, in that's, that's the whole point. It's, it's different. Yeah, it's not no beaches. It's in different. Baltimore. Yeah, I gotta drive out Maryland somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I guess never mind then. <laughs> Your nah, favorite man. places to travel to is L.A. What is and like you, I remember you said before, um, like you realized you realized like when you traveled out how different on how more so. More so how Like you said In the wrong The wrong thoughts Like you was in the wrong Like when you went out To travel places People were looking at you crazy Cause like you was in the, Like you know what I'm saying Talk about that dynamic Like where did Talk about a specific situation Wait what you mean Like remember you was talking about um, When When you When you tra- When you When you Compared to Baltimore How you was raised And then When you travel out somewhere oh. And somebody be like You know what I'm talking oh, about Oh so you said What about that exactly I talked about I said talk about dynamic Like what oh. More so what specifically did Just the aggressiveness right like we got a certain aggressiveness and like a like a side of like we all witness like a side of disloyalty in a sense or a lot of like quote unquote like fuck shit mm-hmm. or whatever, right? Where like we don't trust much, we don't we just feel like everybody biggie, we feel like everybody's just like out for the the grabs and we just feel like everybody's really aggressive. Mm-hmm. And I feel like in other places it's not it's not always like that. Like people actually come across like genuine, fun, organic, loving people. And it's like kind of rare in a, in a sense because it's like, I'm not like just just the, just the way we joke around. Like a nigga could be like, yeah, yeah, bitch. <laughs> and that could really mean I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bitch, you graduated. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, I feel you. 
Because like, you can't do that shit in Atlanta. You just can't. You just don't go around and like in fucking Wisconsin and just walk up to somebody. And, yeah, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, like, don't do that. Mm, you gonna get your ass blamed out in that open just, carry just, state. You just look crazy, you know. So it's like it's just like different terminologies, different like ways of gesture. Mm-hmm. Like a motherfucker could grab the shit out your neck and just really like show love to you and be like, you know, like yeah, put their arm yeah, around yeah. the shit out you and just be like, no, I was just doing it because I love you, shorty. Yeah, we 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 accustomed to that shit. You know what I mean? But it's like a, uh, aggression. You know, what I'm saying like our demeanor. You know, like a sense of like our like PTSD or our anger or whatever. So some of those things are just much different, you know, than mm-hmm. other places. Where did you go to college? Frost. I, I graduated from like Frostburg State. Frostburg State University. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's that's that's, that's not the answer I usually expect. Yeah, like from. Morgan and Cop and stuff. Yeah, like Nick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you? Is that why you picked it? Because you saw so you wouldn't get it out of bar? Yeah, I did. Want like I, I first went to Albright College in Pennsylvania. I played basketball for like a like a half a year. <laughs> um. Was you balling though, or was you just nah, a, you just a nah, water boy? No, nah, I was probably more of a water boy vibes. Like I ain't, I ain't <laughs> get to play a game. I got injured so much before in the preseason. Damn, so, tore my nit- meniscus, sprained the ankle, pulled a hamstring. So, Ugh! So you, like, how old was you when you pulled the hamstring? That's some old nigga shit. Seventeen years old. I went. To, I was. I went to college at seventeen. Why? That you? That was you? Was you like your birthday early or something? Yeah, my birthday late. Yeah, birthday oh. late. So that was a thing. So I was like. I didn't really get to really have a preseason. So by the time I got into the midseason, like, it just didn't make sense. So then I had to tell the coach, like, yeah, like I'm not hooping no more. Like, just don't. I'm not going to the league. Mm. Coach was like, all right, have fun. I was like, damn. I'm, really, I'm thinking that the coach maybe be like, no, like, you should stay. Man, that coach don't give a fuck about Yeah, he's like, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like, but it hit me though. I was like, I'm like, yo, I'm five foot six. Mm. I'm not. What position like, you play? Would you? Point guard. I can't point guard. No yeah, you can't play at all. In college? Yeah, you yeah, can't so play. So I was like, I didn't get to win with that shit. So I was like, I was like, yo, like the feeling I felt like being so low, I was like, I gotta be a boss. I gotta just turn shit up. And I got so dedicated to life. I had people, you know, like when I first started business and shit, like What age were you when you first started that? 18. Mm-hmm. You know well, what was the business? Like my management marketing company, when I started managing artists, mm-hmm. I started like, you know, doing consulting for like brands, like, you know, even marketing and shit like that, my management artists and whatnot. Um so I started that immediately. And, you know, it was just like, oh, like, how you just was an athlete? You, now you're doing this. Like, it was always that, like, disrespect that I used to get. From, like, you know, when you start a business mm-hmm. from after, like, already being, like, a regular human being, that little transition, like, people don't normally really take that serious. They don't take that, it that serious. T- that turned me into a monster. <sighs> And turn me into a monster. It would, I'm, that's a, and it's crazy. That's a lot of people. That shit. A lot of people. They they shatter from that shit, and they become a fucking accountant somewhere in some white man's man, land. A lot of I people t- can't take that pressure. Man, I, I use that shit as motivation. I turn me into a fucking beast, bro. Now, what the, what made what specifically with. made you feel like that turned you to a beast was like what like what Friends, what were the, the key princ- what were the key principles to help other people? You know. Well, uh, um. I knew what I just went through coming into business. I was pretty much alone with that shit, bro. Like, I ain't... You know how, like, for example, the first time you play Monopoly, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I'm ready to teach you how to play Monopoly. What's the first question you'll say to a nigga? Hey, I want to teach you how to play Monopoly. What you'll say back? What's Monopoly? Right? How do I play? How do I play Monopoly? Right? I'm sorry, that was the wrong answer. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you want to play chess? Like, yo, how do I play? When I got into business, it wasn't like, no, I want to do business. Like, yo, how do I do business? Mm. It was none of that. I just had to teach myself how to f- fail at the fail at the fail at the fail at the fail. I failed way more times than I fucking I did good. Now, when you first started getting into businesses, what did you do? Did you just start, did you just jump off the porch or did you read some books? Fuck, I just got busy. So, Damn. Yo. So you jumped off the porch? Yeah, I just said, yo, like, yo, I see a vision. I see what you good at. This is what I'm good at. Let's do this. Do okay. this. And fail at the 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 fail came about. If you had to put a number on the fails, do you feel like how many were they before you feel like you got one? I feel I'm just now on the win now, bro. Mm. I'm like, what? I started when I was, what, 18 years old? I'm, what, 27? Mm. What's the math for that? You said how, 17? I'm like nine years. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, you said 16. Type shit, right? Am I, am I tripping? What was the age you said? You said 19? 16? No, wait, 19? What I said? Nine, what did I say? Nine, what? 16? You think you said 17. 17 is when I went to college. Okay. You said you started your first business at 18. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's nine years. You're right. Yeah. So it's like, I just feel like I'm like winning now. Damn. Just. 
And how many, how many, if you had to accumulate the number of fails, just to put it in perspective like, for the ones. Bro, like, 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 uh, like 180. 180? <laughs> that's you know a, that's a legitimate like, number yeah, is that exaggeration. That's, that's just like, I failed a, fu- a, fuck, a, a shitload of times, bro. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, like, you know, some people come into their business like, yo, first time I did this, it just started making me money. I ain't coming like that. It took me business to business, opportunity to opportunity, client to client, situation to situation for me to work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't come into the situation with a shitload of money. Mm-hmm. I ain't come into the situation originally with all these resources or I ain't have all these, like, you know, this help or this, all these clientels. I came in fucked up. I can just, I'm like, yo. That's, I was, a, that's a good answer. Bro, <laughs> bro, I came in, like, trying to get a job. Like, jobs are denying me. Damn, son. So tell me about one of them L's. More so one of the ones you learned from. I don't even know where to stop, bro, because I fucking remember. All right, this one of my L's alone, bro. Just like a heartfelt L. Like, I imagine my artist, Pistol P, is like a brother to me, right? Mm -hmm. We rolling, like rolling. Like, we starting to get real traction with his music. I'm doing his management. You know what I'm saying? We actually starting to actually like see like, oh, like we making like 20-something thousand a month this and third from his streams. Mm -hmm. And then instantly, boom, he gets locked up. You feel me? Locked up, boom. And it's like, damn, like what, how do I continue to keep making money doing what we doing if this just don't work? This, that was just like a thing that's instantly, like, oh, damn, situation gone. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You know, so it's like with management, consulting, and just like marketing and everything I was doing, like I might have clients. I might have a client. They might be a female rapper. They rap and they rap it. Oh, I'm pregnant. I can't rap for like a couple months because I'm like, Damn. Oh shit. That's what Nicki Minaj did, gang. Oh shit, damn. This person is doing music. This person is killed. They're dead. Just so the money that y'all was supposed to just make and y'all had guaranteed on the table was like, hey, how you doing, sir? Yeah, so blah blah blah. Yeah, some artists is is dead now. We can't even work. Damn. It's like what? It's like, wait, we we were trying to give you like ten thousand dollars for X one. It's like, yeah, we can't do it no more. Like it's done. You know, that could just be something so simple. You know, where it's like that day. Then you got other businesses, you know what I'm saying, financially, where it's like it just slowly take a decline where it's like, all right, it's going just downhill. Mm-hmm. You know, but not everything you could brace for, not everything, you know what I'm saying, it's just life. So. Okay. Um, the question, the next question I have is um, you, talk, you, you talk to a lot of kids, you plan to talk to a lot more. Um, what artists, if you had to name two to three things that you try to instill mainly, what are some things that you feel like it's important to them? I'm um, just building your foundation within yourself, man. I want you to be able to respect yourself, bro. Before you can respect your mother, your father, your parent, your teacher, you got to respect yourself. Do you love yourself to know that you can walk out and comfortably and give somebody respect? Show love to somebody without feeling weird about it? That's the first thing, right? Have, build a foundation within yourself, bro. It's like you can... Fuck the clothes, fuck the whatever you can give somebody. You can you can do their free haircuts every year. You can give away toys every year. <laughs> you can give away clothes every year. That shit don't matter. Can you help somebody found a foundation within themselves, bro? Mm-hmm. You're worthy. You're important. You you make sense within yourself. You are somebody in this world that can be a man or be a woman and be grateful. You know. Okay. Second thing, um. And just understand the, the aspect of love. Not love in an emotional sense of like a relationship, but just love like can you love like something other than yourself too? Because mm. it's like... Love, you, is, love is love. Because like, you, are, are you, can you love the space that you're around and know that I'm not going to fuck this space up just because it's not mine? Yeah. Somebody I, can just come into your space and just fuck it up just because it's not theirs. Mm. I don't care. It's not my shit, so I don't give a fuck. No, for real. But it ain't my school. Fuck I don't give a fuck. I oh shit, like, I ain't had to spend my money on this. I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, can you love someone outside of yourself just to be like I feel like I feel like just what you said, like that feel like that teaches that teaches like when you boil it down, it, it teaches awareness. Like being aware of when It's like I come across like you get somebody five dollars, right? Oh, I give you five dollars. Happy the kid is happy for, with the five dollars. He now treats somebody else like shit, because he got five dollars. But you don't, you just forgot that someone else just gave you that out of their kind of their heart that they didn't have to do for you. Mm-hmm. That bothers me, bro. It does. Because it's like, 
I just did a favor for you out of love, but now you're going to shit on the next person. A kid could get, uh, their father can give him some Mary Jeans or give him this or give him that or give him that, whatever the case may be. And this now is like, well, I'm better than you. <laughs> but someone just gave it to you. Someone just gave something that's some love for you, but now you're going to make some next person feel bad. Okay. Why are you like, why do you feel like you can disrespect or make someone else feel lower than themselves? But then it's like, why do, you, why do you think, why do you think they do it? Our, our egos, man, and our culture, because these we status driven, right? Mm-hmm. You, we, we, we judge people upon what they have, right? It's like, oh, you have that item, you must have money, so I'm going to treat you as such. You only have this item, so you don't have money, so I'm going to treat you as such, right? It's cool, it's cool. Okay. And it's like, but we're status driven. Oh, I'm going to respond to this person because they got this many followers. Fast and I'm going to respond to this person with this many followers. Yeah, that shit. I'm going to respond to this person because I like what they're wearing or how, like, how their pictures look. But I'm not responding to this person because of this. Or oh, the reason people not support me because I don't look like this. People reason I'm not supported is because I look like that. Right? That's what happened to Michael Jackson. And it's like, how does that make sense? It don't. It, it really don't. doesn't. And that's why it bothers me, bro. It bothers me. So that's why I try to talk to the youth and build their foundation. Help them with the, the, the understanding of love. Underst- helping them understand of, of self. Helping them understand the mission that they're on and they want to accomplish. Because it's like, it's okay to have a, 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 a career path, you know, that's the unfortunate. You told your teacher in the third grade that you wanted to have your own podcast. They would have been like, that doesn't make money. Why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? Mm-hmm. Makes you happy. Makes you good. It makes other people feel happy. You're giving people an opportunity of a lifetime to be able to express their stories on your platform. Mm-hmm. That's like bigger than anything itself. Okay. Because you're thinking outside of your own self. You could be on this podcast all day about yourself all day. I Yo, I'm Chris, man. This is my podcast. I don't give nobody. This is me. <laughs> right? Next episode coming out. Right? Yeah. But you give us other people that you, that you don't know from Adam and Eve to say, yo, like, this is a platform that you can, you know, embrace yourself on and love yourself on and embrace your, your, your world to. Mm. Like, that speaks value in yourself. That speaks value into who you are and what you want to do to the world. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, yeah. I mean, nobody you know. Really... But, but people don't want to give you flowers on that. Yeah, I'm such a, yeah, this is what I do. This is what I, No. Understand who the fuck you're, like it's giving you opportunity to do that. You give them up for opportunity, they act like they didn't get opportunity from you. Yeah. That's what bothers me. Yeah. To the world. Yeah. Who's gonna speak for that person that's not that's just humble enough to say, all right, I'm gonna let you rock. But no, nah, fuck that. Fuck all that humble shit. That motherfucker is the great motherfucker right there. That motherfucker is the great motherfucker right there. That great motherfucker, that's you know what I'm saying? Mm. Just like how we was talking before, I don't know if they caught it or not, when mm-hmm. I was talking about the whole that um the, the, the generation the whole mid social media that teach that they, they teach that shit teaches us to suppress that and be like, oh, that shit corny, just like where we started from. It's it's, it's fucking stupid, bro. It is stupid. It's like we all agree. We we, we suppose I feel like we're supposed to be paying it forward, always helping somebody else. Yeah. And I feel like the agenda has become the absolute opposite. And it's, it's like it's like you you it's like niggas work hard to shit on people. <laughs> Basically, if I'm working this hard to shit on this person that don't I'm like, why am I working this hard to shit on somebody that not even like it's like, the fuck am I doing? Mm-hmm. I've been out of town with motherfuckers that got quadruple the amount of money I got. I watched a nigga in L.A. got mad at his business because he only did six hundred thousand for that day. Mm. Tell me, tell me about that dynamic. Cause I know you travel a lot. I know you these meetings and all all this working. No, I can't. I can't compare. I can't uh, fathom that shit. Tell me about that dynamic being around all these rich niggas. Cause I, bro, you know, it's a different like they don't treat nobody like that, bro. They're not in competition of who from their neighborhood and who they did this for. They're just goal driven on whatever their purpose is, bro. They just stand on track of what their vision is and what their purpose is for their family, for their their company, whatever the case may be. Mm. You know, and it's like they don't. It's not this judgmental world where it's like, yeah, I'm shitting on somebody, or I'm bigger than you. I'm doing this for the sake of me and for the things I'm doing it for. Now I'm, I, I'm watching people get upset about money they they didn't get to reach, 
But at levels that I'm like, damn, like if someone did this in my in my neighborhood, there'll be a fucking known fucking figure. Mm. But it's just like everyone's standards are just different, right? They are, yep. In Baltimore, you can have a certain amount of dollars and be just classified as a great person that's winning. Mm. Huh? That's winning here. That's why I said we a C market city earlier, right? Yeah, we are. I I, I feel like like you, you can have a hundred thousand dollars in this city and because be considered lit, bro. No, you really, really could. If you have a hundred thousand dollars and people hearing about you, you're you, you're considered lit. Basically, that's scary. Yeah, basically, that's fucking scary, bro. It is scary. That's that's power that no nigga meet need. I'm sorry, watch my language, but no nigga need. Even though we are niggas, but you give them a hundred thousand dollars has you lit in Baltimore City, bro. That's fucking scary. You can't go nowhere else in this world up thinking that a hundred thousand dollars is making you lit. That's scary. How much have you seen a nigga spin right in front of you, and how did that make you feel? How did it change you? Um, I don't even know that certain amount. Um, I see some, I see some serious shit in my life. We don't have to be a specific like how much you seen a nigga spin, but like what shit like oh like I'm I'm like this nigga's on a totally different altitude. I mean, I, I see I seen a motherfucker buy a three point three million dollar crib. I did see that. That was mm-hmm. dope. That it. That, that sounds was nice. dope. How did the crib look? Did it look three point three millions worth? Shit. Where was it at? That was in that was in Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta! Damn, I know that shit big as hell. Yeah, that was all right. Yeah, <laughs> I know that right. shit big as hell. That shit was all right, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. This shit was serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just did it, just so just effortlessly, just like. I bet now we gotta get to this. Now we gotta get to work over here. And it was just, so it was like I didn't even get a chance to even fathom that it was a big thing. Now I mean now I'm talking about it now. I'm like oh shit that was kind of big actually. But like niggas like, never seen um, close anything close to me. You get what I'm saying? So it was like it's just normal because it's like you work hard, you save, you invest, you do right properly, you have the right people around, you do this, you do this, and as you do that, that's just the the, the regiment, right? And it's just like with us. We do bad, bad, try to do some good, try to do a little bit of good, then we try to do bad, then we do half good, then we try to expect big results. Mm. These motherfuckers take care of their body, they take care of their family, they take care of their spirit, they take care of their finances, on a, that's just their discipline, right? My thing is like, you gotta be okay with being boring. Mm. It's okay to be boring. It is, it really is. The office Everybody wanna is celebrate good. every week, you don't have to celebrate every weekend. You don't. You don't have to go eat out every chance you get. Personally, I'm coming to the point in my life where, like, I don't want to kick it with niggas that feel like that's the thing. Like, I don't have that much to do. And that's so I'm like, that's so why I was like, I'd be like, I and my therapist would be like, yo, like, Ron, you need to do more. But it's like, it's okay to just be chill and be boring. And so be you be you be disagreeing with your therapist, nigga? Yes. <laughs> You're not her. supposed to do that. You're supposed to listen to. I listen. Is it a him or her? Do you prefer me personally? My therapist. I prefer a white young woman. What is your preferred therapist? I prefer a woman. Race doesn't matter because I did have black therapists that just wasn't there all the way. So with me, so it's like the 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 ethnicity doesn't matter to me because mm. I experience both sides. Because. Mm. I'm pretty experienced in the mental health field myself. So like I understand like my flaws. Like I'm clear as day, like I know where I'm wrong at. I know it, but it's like I'm also just need for me personally, I just know I need like set goals or a tangible set for me to not do this no more or do this more of. Like, I mean I'm kinda clear on those type of things for myself. Like I know like when I'm dead ass wrong. Mm. I know when I'm like, all right, hey look. I know we talked about this last week. Look, I did this five times. I'm fucked up. I'm tripping by this. But, look, <laughs> but this, but this, let me know what can I do better to fix this. Okay, you feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Okay, so as we as we come to the end of this journey, no, I wouldn't call it the end because hopefully you'll come back. Hopefully we have a lot more to talk about. Hopefully this is beginning. Um, what is what are some what are some things that you want somebody to take away? That you want somebody to start? Not even that. Not even that. Don't even think of it as take away from this interview. What are three things that you want people to start doing tomorrow? Love yourself first thing, man. Like love yourself, man. Like love yourself, bro. Like literally tell yourself at the end of the day, like, yo, like I matter. Your health matters, your emotions matter, your physicality matters, you know, your relationships matter, your family matters, your finances matter. If you feel as though that like, you matter, like, you would do better with your situations. That's the first thing. 
Um, you said three, right? Second thing I want you to understand is treat others the way you want to be treated, right? Like just respect the boundaries that you get. Like if people bless you, bless others. The more you're blessed, you should want to bless more people. Feel me? Simple with that. Mm. Third thing, um, I want you to get out your comfort zone completely. Make yourself completely uncomfortable. Like I, ain't doing I know, that shit. I know it's easy to do the things that you're, you're used to or whatever the case may be, but get yourself out of that era where it's just like, oh, this is me. This is what I do. Get to a different side of town. Get to a different type crowd of people. Get to um, a different setting in life and make yourself better than whatever it needs to be because those challenges is going to be able to build um, barriers within yourself that you can't even imagine. So I want you to be able to challenge yourself at a whole other level, man. No, for real. That's me, man. That's my three things. Damn. Well, I hope you had your pen. Hope you had your pad. Hope you paid attention. Hope you was playing it in a little bit slower. Because we went through a lot. I feel like we touched yeah. a lot. Like I feel like yeah. type, I feel like we touched a lot. Yeah, That's because, all. Man. Um, hopefully you come back. Please, man. Whenever you invite me, man. You my guy, man. I'm rocking so, with sir, you. Sir, we here. Um, until mm. next time, till the next banger, t- uh, tune in, tap in, as the trappers say, tap in, tele- telegram right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shit, that shit killing me with the telegram. But um, um, until next time, um, holla, that's it. You did. Round of Dawn. <laughs>